Hello YouTube, this video is going to be about my 69 Nova and let's go check it out. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan and this is going to be about my 69 Chevy Nova. Uh, we purchased this car totally sight unseen from California. Uh, it was nerve wracking and it definitely was not for the faint of heart to say the least. Uh, buying a car sight unseen with photographs. Uh, if any of you've looked at anything on Craigslist or Marketplace, uh, even local to your area, you know that photos and videos hide a lot. So buying something from across the country that we couldn't see was definitely nerve wracking. And uh, there were some things on the car that we found that definitely kind of surprised us. Uh, but for the most part, I feel very happy with what I got. Uh, I don't regret the purchase. I still think we got a steal of a deal on a Chevy Nova. Uh, if any of you guys have one of these cars or have been looking for one of these cars, you have an idea of what the market is on them and that it's crazy uh, and it's only going up, I, I feel. So the fact that we are able to get one of these cars and ship it to the East Coast for under $4,000 was a pretty good steal. Um, so we'll check out, I'll show you guys the car so you, you can see what, what I got for, for that price. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So like I said, we bought this car sight unseen. Um, the seller sent me some photographs. We found it on a, an auto trader uh, website. So we had agreed on a sale price. Uh, we agreed on a, a way to actually uh, exchange title for payment in the safest way possible. Uh, we used PayPal, which if you, you know about PayPal, PayPal does not cover auto sale fraud. So that's a little sketchy. So the way, the plan that we worked out was that I would pay half of the amount. He would mail me the pink slip for the car. And then once I had the pink slip, the remainder of the payment would be made. And then we set up trucking. And in my case, it all worked out. The car actually showed up, uh, but yeah, it, it, probably it would not be hard to be catfished on uh, a website like that um so yeah this is this is the car uh let's take a look at it so it's a 69 nova there are a few things that i've done to it since i've gotten it the first thing i did was i rattle can the wheels black so i could get an idea of what the car was going to look like when uh i started to make my own changes to it uh, I did remove the interior. Now, when I bought the car, I did know about some rust in the driver's side floor pan. This car came from a town just outside the Mojave Desert. Uh, 
and it definitely sweat inside the car a little bit because the rest of the car as solid as it is the interior did not survive as well um so we need floor pants uh driver's side plant pan is totally shot once i got the rubber carpet and everything out of here and i wire wheeled the floor we discovered some pinholes in all of the dropouts for the pans so we are going to be doing floor pans uh pretty soon but the underneath the rear seat solid this section solid i'll show you guys the trunk which is nice and solid just some surface rust in the trunk but overall very very good so not that bad um it is a six cylinder power glide car uh with factory power brakes power steering um we are gonna it's power drum brakes we're gonna put disc brakes on it um when i first got it the car hadn't run since sometime in the late 90s from what the guy who sold it to me told me so we jerry-rigged uh, a gas tank on the front of here and bought a cheap battery from napa and that was pretty much it we fired it up some some starting fluid and she fired right up uh since then i have replaced the some of the rubber fuel line um fuel filter we put a new gas tank and sending unit in the back which we actually found the gas tank a new gas tank in the trunk of the car so new gas tank and sending unit um still has the california plate on it um that's that's pretty much it but all of your normal cancer areas in this car are really good so besides the floor pans we're not going to have to do any major body work to this car which is good because my plan is to leave this car um, paint wise we're leaving it exactly how it is uh we're not fixing any of this we're not Besides pulling out some of these dents, we're not doing any body work to this car. Uh, we're going to put a wider steel wheel on it. Uh, these are 14s, I think. So we're going to put uh, 15 by 8s on the back, 15 by 7s on the front. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff to this car. It's going to be a good time. So click the like button, subscribe. Uh, comment what you'd like to see on this car. The plan right now is a 350 uh, swap. As of right now, I don't I don't plan to put an LS motor in it. I plan to put a carbureted 350 in it, turbo 350 trans, uh, Curry Ford 9-inch rear. Uh, what else? Yeah. Comment what you guys would like to see in the car. If you have any ideas and uh we're gonna have a good time there's not a lot of content for novas out there right now as far as videos are concerned so hopefully uh what i do to this car the v8 swap the the rear end swap all that stuff will help you guys on your own builds and if i make any mistakes it might help you from making the same mistakes so all right thanks guys bye